This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone glorify the use of drugs. How's it going, everyone? I'm Loki Fish, and in this video, I'll be covering a supplement known as CDP choline. This is a naturally occurring compound that contains citadine and choline, both of which are essential nutrients involved in various biological processes. In one study conducted in the United States, researchers found that 90% of people are deficient in choline. This is concerning because choline is so vital to our lives that without it, we wouldn't be able to sleep, walk, or remember anything. Supplementing with CD choline can resolve this issue. I'll go over anything you'd want to know, including the benefits, pharmacology, Ecology, dosage, my own experience, and everything else in between. Let's get into it. CDP choline, also known as CD choline, is an organic nootropic that is found in every cell in the body and serves as a precursor to choline and citidine, which later converts to uridine. Originally, it was created in Japan as a prescription remedy for people who suffered a stroke. These days, it is sold over the counter as a supplement for memory and cognition. The main function of CD choline is to be broken down so the body can use the raw choline that becomes available. Choline is then used to synthesize acetylcholine, which is the primary neurotransmitter responsible for the proper functioning of memory, learning, cognition, and recall. A lot of brain power. Unfortunately, you can't just take acetylcholine as a standalone supplement. The idea of being able to take acetylcholine pills doesn't actually exist yet, so you must obtain it by consuming its precursors, such as CDP choline. Research from myriad studies has shown that supplementing with CDP choline can improve people's lives in many different ways. CDP choline improves your quality of life. It has the ability to enhance cognitive function, improve cerebral blood flow, offset the effects of stroke, improve memory and learning capacity, boost cognitive performance, raise acetylcholine production, and increase brain energy levels. CDP choline plays a role in memory and cognitive functions by supporting mental processes such as learning and memory retention. Additionally, it supplies the brain with the energy necessary to sustain prolonged mental exertion. It may also assist in slowing down age-related decline and reduce the onset of diseases such as Alzheimer's and vascular dementia. For other people, it can assist them in getting work done more efficiently or help students get better grades. I feel extra smart today. CD choline increases glucose metabolism and helps blood flow to the brain, which is essential to the process of how our bodies create energy. Since most people don't get enough choline in their diet, many people will benefit from taking choline supplements, especially considering the fact that the body uses up choline faster than it can produce it. And this is particularly true if you take any of the rat's tame nootropics as they expedite the process in which choline gets used. CD choline has a remarkably low toxicity profile in both animals and humans. It's perfectly safe, I researched it. In clinical settings, daily doses up to 2,000 milligrams have been deemed safe for use. The recommended dosage is 250 to 500 milligrams one to two times per day. Moreover, CD choline is water soluble, boasting a bioavailability of over 90%. The first time I tried it, I took 1200 milligrams at once and I could definitely tell that I was extra zoned in and my thoughts and words flowed way smoother. The supplement I have here is 300 milligrams per capsule and I'll normally take one to two of these pills on the days that I take it. I think that CD choline is great for ADHD symptoms at low doses and it definitely improves my memory and cognitive energy. It's mildly euphoric too, but not on the same level as caffeine or Adderall. I do find that it has synergistic effects when paired with stimulants like Adderall or phenylparacetin. Adding CDP choline to a nootropic stack will strengthen your ability to focus as well as improving short-term and long-term memory. My mind is too strong. I should mention though that if I take some too close before I go to bed, it will keep me up for longer and disrupts my sleep a bit. Sometimes if I take too much, it acts counterintuitively and makes it harder for me to focus and I become a bit restless. In general, the two main sources of choline that I use the most is CDP choline and alpha GPC. I like using each one depending on the situation. CDP choline is generally better for mental tasks, while alpha GPC is better for athletic performance. For example, I'll take CDP choline when I'm trying to get some work done on the computer, or I'll take alpha GPC when I go to the gym. I like having both at my disposal because I find it more beneficial than just keeping one around. Two is better than one. That being said, watch this for the next one. Everything you need to know about alpha GPC and how it differs from CDP choline. Many people claim that alpha GPC is much more effective and actually prefer it over any other choline source. My name is Fish and I stay low key. Peace out.